Coming up on Hanover Headlines, ah, spring term means parties. We've got the scoop on alcohol enforcement. A beloved person on campus is about to say goodbye. And more food and meal plan options. We'll have all the details. Coming up on Hanover Headlines. Welcome to Hanover Headlines, your source of news for all things Hanover. I'm Matt Ryan with Lindsey Burke. There are only two more weeks left in the term, and the, there's a lot of things happening on campus. Up first, in college, the lessons learned outside of the classroom can have the most impact, and peers can be unexpected teachers. Janet Schneer explains how this is happening as a result of the new drinking policy. Personal fridges can now be stocked with beer and wine because of the new alcohol policy. But instead of encouraging partying, campus security officials say the policy aims to get upperclassmen to learn responsibility. A policy is good if you follow it, but you know, I, think it's a, I think the college has done a good thing by at least offering our 21-year-old students uh, an opportunity to be responsible drinkers. At least upperclassmen aren't trying to, you know, binge drink or hurry up and drink before they go out. Yeah, I, it's nice to be able to just open my fridge and grab a beer without worrying about getting in trouble. Students who are 21 are enjoying the new policy, but underclassmen haven't seen that much of a difference. Drinking games are a part of college, and freshmen still experiment with drinking. Student life officials say underage students are getting the majority of the drinking violations. The, the lion's share of them are young students who are normally your inexperienced drinkers. Drinking has always been part of campus events. Now that they can drink openly, upperclassmen have the chance to show younger students how to be responsible. For Hanover Headlines, I'm Janet Schnur. Recent bombings have had a big impact on security at events like the Derby and concerts, although tighter security could put an end to sneaking in drinks and food. Many students are grateful for the extra precautions. Um, I, when I heard about the security measures, I was a little put off. I understand why they're doing it completely. Like, I'm all for security at big events. I think it's good that they're upping the security. Um, I think people need to be more aware of what they're doing and what they're bringing. I think it's important and I'm glad they're doing it. So Matt, do you have any big plans that could be affected because of the security? Well, I go to the Indy 500 every year, every May, so normally you'd be surprised. The security's not real tight there, but this year, especially after the bombings, it's, it's going to be pretty hectic, so we'll sure see. Sure, to be interesting. <laughs> the anticipation is over, and new athletic facilities are on the way. After 25 months of Live Our Loyalty campaign has raised $21 million. $6 million from the campaign is embarked for athletic facility improvements that include a newly constructed tennis complex. Saturday is the groundbreaking of the renovations. New stands and locker rooms for football, baseball, softball, and soccer are just some of the intended improvements. Some students say these renovations have been much needed. Well, there's some leaks in there that could be hazardous to the guys, and it just it really needs to be renovated. It's been a long time. The facilities here at Hanover College are very old, mm -hmm. and they leak, and they smell. Everything's, they're just old. So I feel like it's a good thing to spend one time, revamp everything, get more kids here, and it'll help to bring in more money next year for academics. I feel that too much money has been put into the sports facilities at Hanover, and uh, I feel like Hanover could distribute the wealth uh, a little better. President DeWine and chair members, along with other faculty and students, will be on hand to commemorate this event. The ceremony will begin at 2 p.m. on Saturday. This weekend brings two celebrations to mark building renovations. Saturday, the newly refurbished Student Activity Center will open in the Campus Center. And on Friday, former, former Hanover athletes will return to decommission the old Lynn Hall Gym. It's being converted to dorm space this summer. But some Hanover community members are mourning the loss of the historic Lynn Gym. Here's the gym in 1982 at the basketball game where fans were first introduced to our mascot panther. 
Events like this will be remembered as the campus community celebrates the gym's rich history. Administrators say the old gym space is needed for housing. They expect enrollment to increase 1,500 in the next couple of years. As students, we are always looking for a good meal on campus, and our dining options have been changing lately. These changes have benefited some students, but the dining service management is continuing to look for even better solutions. Brandon Geyer looks into the changes to Hanover's dining options. Shoebox employees have had more downtime this year. Almost half of Hanover students have a new dining option. Lack of customers means the shoebox can't keep as much inventory. When you're not going through, you know, a, a lot of, let's say, a great beer selection, if you're not going through a vast amount of that beer, you can't just keep buying when nobody's buying. Fewer students are eating at the shoebox because for the first time, all Greek houses have kitchens and cooks. Fraternity members enjoy the convenience and flexibility of eating in-house and having a say in their meals. Greek house kitchens have decreased sales at the shoebox, but the shoebox staff hopes that new plans will increase sales. A new uh, product line that we have here on, in, our, in our menu with regards to our new burgers that we brought out, um, new different types of milkshakes, um, things like that just to get people in the door as well as to, um, try to get our kind of get our brand out there on campus. Another change, meal swipes allow students to eat at the shoebox for the same price as at the main dining hall. The Hanover Kitchen's manager says this will be the second test of the system. Now we are offering swipes for the rest of this month uh, through spring term uh, out there just to give it a little bit more um, of a uh, test to see how it's going to do and see if in fact it will generate some additional revenues. New meal plan proposals will be discussed this fall. Greek members could eat both in-house and at school dining services. For Hanover Headlines, I'm Brandon Geyer. Winslow is back. Hanover junior and author Devin Kandaki is releasing his newest book featuring his popular Winslow character. Hey Ya Mama is a book that shows children how to say foreign words. Family is also an important topic. This book is structured to be read with a little bit of rhyme and tempo like a rap. Hey Ya Mama Hey Ya. Hey Ya Papa Hey Ma. Hey Ya Sister Hey Pa. Hey Ya My Family is some of the words used in the book. And when read correctly, it becomes engaging like a song to help children learn. Kandaki aims to change education through his Winslow Nation. Information can be found at this website. The Winslow Movement teaches parents and kids that learning is fun. This is Kandaki's second book. Next fall, campus will be without a familiar face. Dr. Barbara Garvey announced her retirement this year, but has left some lasting impressions. Colin Key takes a closer look at the impact she's had on the communication department here at Hanover College. Good boy. Be good. One of Dr. Barbara Garvey's morning rituals is to always say goodbye to Louie before heading to the classroom, a ritual that won't last much longer. She is retiring after 36 years of teaching communication to Hanover students. But when she was a college student, she planned to go to law school until her junior year. And I thought, nope, I want to be a college professor. I want to teach about politics, teach about rhetoric, teach about the issues of communication that if people know them, they won't need an attorney. Dr. Garvey has had such an impact on the communication department. She has also had an impact on the faculty. She went into education because she wanted to empower students to become adults who could make a change in the world for the better. And so that passion has carried through all of her decisions as department chair. Then we'll divide up in groups, we'll talk with each other. Dr. Garvey uh, said that there were only two majors when she first arrived on campus. Communication was one department that saw a gradual rise in popularity amongst majors. She has also incorporated rhetorical and political approaches to communication as part of the curriculum. With her departure, Professor Elizabeth Winters will assume the position as chair of the department along with possible changes in the curriculum. For Hanover Headlines, I'm Colin Key. Spring term brings lots of chances to make a difference while also being outside. First, help raise money for the Boys and Girls Club of America while finding out who the best basketball players are on campus. The Phi Delta Theta 3-on-3 three -three basketball tournament runs May 7th through 10th. Next, teams can play in Chi Omega's Dodge for a Wish tournament on May 17th to raise money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Teams will compete to claim the titles of best dressed and overall winners of the dodgeball tournament. And finally, put on your cape or mask and help a child in need. Kappa Alpha Theta and the local charity CASA team up to help save the day on May 19th. The Superhero Sprint 5K race will run th through campus. Anyone can participate. Lambda Chi Alpha's Wiffleball Tournament is now in its second week. 
A lot has happened since the opening pitch. Two weeks into the tournament, teams now feel the pressure as they try to survive and claim the coveted tournament title. Teams like HOP and Ronnie's Angels are bringing the heat. It's win or go home. Spring terms. I mean, a lot of fun. I've been out to wiffle ball every night. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun. What you, I mean, you're a freshman, so what do you yeah, think? Yeah, I love it. I'm actually on two different wiffle ball teams. Oh, okay. so. nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for this edition of Hanover Headlines, your source of news for all things Hanover. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week.